All right, welcome to Heaven on Earth. And you can see the herd here at the Mother Ranch. Um, this gray horse is Rain. She's our lead mare. The paint is Phoenix, who's my mare. Um, the big draft guy who you'll see who was uh, visiting with us before is Winter. Um, the Black Arabian over in that mix is Midnight. The red, the chestnut is Salita, and her name actually means uh, Slice of Heaven, which I think is so neat. I found that out after the name for this came through, Heaven on Earth. Um, and then you can see as I rotate this, Sweetness is kind of off doing his own thing over here, but he will most likely come on, and um, he is our mini donkey. Um, and then the mountains are right here, the Rockies, so you can kind of see them, and we have a little bit of weather over there, but they're coming in, so anyways, welcome to the Mother Ranch. Thanks for joining. <laughs> the uh, theme for tonight is on connection, and uh, each week is a different theme. Um, sometimes the themes come in because I'm reading or seeing a lot about a certain topic and sometimes they come in intuitively because I'm actually experiencing the opposite and I feel like that that would be a great topic then um, so much in the healing world is what are you experiencing that's on the side that you don't want to be and then how do we shift that to what you do want to be experiencing. Um, so most of the topics have been about what we want to be experiencing through the energy of heaven. So we've done connection, or we've done pleasure, we've done um, like compassion and um, patience and these kind of qualities. Um, and so, yeah, this is very much about the solutions rather than um, the challenges. So tonight we're gonna do something special that I have yet to do. I brought in music and it was, as I was mentioning earlier, um, so there's a drum and there's certain uh, pieces here, Tibetan bell. Um, this came in because my cat actually went up to this part of my altar and was pointing at it today. And I felt like I would bring this to you guys tonight and also to the horses to see how they respond, give them some sound healing. Through sound, we can create connection. We'll talk about that too. Um, so with the meditation, let's pop in and um, we'll do a little bit of closed eye and centering and then I will move into the sound piece and we'll kind of flow with that and see how it goes. So go ahead and feel into your body and what would be most comfortable for you. Closed eye, open eye, wherever you're seated. <sighs> Already winter was doing some clearing um, a little bit earlier before we started recording. Mostly trying to help me get out of my head, which is always part of my journey. And one of the major reasons I work with horses is because they drop us from our head into our hearts and into our bodies. Sweetness is in the back, throwing his head up. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so the way that equine assisted uh, work, I think works best is through really deep authenticity and acknowledgement of um, what we're experiencing in the moment as we're experiencing it. So yes, so the theme for today is connection because I was feeling disconnected earlier and starting to think about how I could quickly shift that back to uh, my true nature, which is connection to all beings. And so I thought, let's talk about that tonight. Let's go there. So with the meditation, let's drop in as I'm feeling my own heightened energy inside. So let's see if we can come into more stillness. So go ahead and center yourself inside of yourself, your higher self. And you can do that by just saying to yourself out loud or silently, I center myself in myself. I trust that I have all the inner resources for this meditation, for this activation. I'm open and allowing of any healing to take place. I 
I gently put my thoughts and my ego aside and step boldly into my heart. I allow my body to feel whatever it needs to feel in this moment. So if there's tension anywhere in your body, go ahead and send the breath there like the wind, allowing it to kind of gently release and clear that space. So on the out breath, you'll picture the breath traveling to that tension. For me, it's some of my stomach and womb area, but just allowing that breath to bathe that area and soften it and relax it. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. Because the horses are offering it, let's actually take the body and just kind of gently shake it. You can either literally shake or you can do a little bit of a bounce, like a lymphatic drainage bounce. But feel free if you're feeling like a bounce, just go ahead and do that. And as you're bouncing, drop your sit bones deeper into your chair, to wherever you're sitting. And if you're shaking, just allow that energy to move. So as you all do this, sweetness is joining us. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> So he's a big proponent of us getting into the body. These are little tools you can use at any time. If you want to just bounce gently, just moving energy that way or shaking. Moving out any tension, any other energies that aren't your own. And you may see me yawn, you may see me cough, potentially even burp. And usually what it is, is it's a form of clearing out some energy from myself, from anyone around, anyone on the call. It's just, it's a clearing. So I'm just allowing it. <sighs> and as always, if you feel any energy moving where you want to yawn, feel free. Just really listening to your body is a point of connection right now. What does your body need? Maybe it wants to lay down, that's totally okay. Maybe it wants to stand and anchor, wriggling your toes inside of your shoes. So again, sending that tension, some of the tension now in my body is cleared from this lower half and is now in my heart space. So again, sending the breath to any places where it's tense. So what Sweetness is offering is this intention that we can all set again silently or out loud. It's my intention to release anything that no longer serves me and to just be filled with more true connection. And 
I am committed to my own healing and to my own upliftment. <sighs> nice job moving the energy, everyone. So it's coming in as some stagnant energy just because we have technically been in this kind of quarantined, although I call it self-cocooning space, with some restrictions, at least physical restrictions, outer restrictions for a while now. So any stagnant energy, let's just ask that to leave at this time. So any and all stagnant energy, stuck energy, constriction, restriction, or any oppression energy you'd like to uncreate and destroy. <sighs> nice. Thanks, bud. <sighs> so I'm going to give you him if you feel like tuning into his eyes and his breath. So he's giving a little OIG breath. He wants to work on me. Let's see. Go ahead, sweetheart. You can work on me. And then we'll do this on behalf of everyone. So clearing some of the left hand, um, Sweetness is talking and there's a group of women watching at least right now um, about our abilities to receive. Um, so as we connect, I have my hands right now in his, to help us with some grounding here. Um, we open ourselves to receive. So staying in that space of openness to receive any healing right now. It helps me to receive when I put my hand on my heart. If that helps you, feel free. Maybe you put your hand um, on your left hand or on your left arm. This, the left side of the body is often thought to be the receptive side, the feminine side. <laughs> Phoenix is standing in support of all of you. You can see her energy with us. So Phoenix is talking about standing in the solidarity of the sisterhood. So if we all want in this moment to just kind of close our eyes and connect with everyone watching now or in future times and just joining our hearts together. So sweetness is standing as part of that circle. See if you can also bring in um, the mini donkey energy into the circle of sisterhood right now. So feeling into the connection of even though your eyes are closed, even though we're on Zoom video, that there's still connection real connection to each other, to these equines. And sweetness is now really focused on my foot. So see if you can bring that connection you're feeling kind of from the heart all the way down into your feet. Allowing your feet to get even heavier. Thank you, sweetness. <sighs> and then dropping some tree trunk branches down from your hip and your sit bones all the way down into the earth. <sighs> And 
And so allowing any kind of sadness, sadness from any time or space, any, any things that have affected our heart recently, allow any and all of that to just travel from your heart down into these tree trunks and tree branches into the earth and composting when it gets to the earth. Oh. Nice work. So sweetness is fully dropped, which does not always happen during these calls. It happens with him, but allowing yourself to feel even more relaxed in your body is what he's offering. Relaxed, allow your own energy with source, whatever word that is for you, God, universe, spirit, love, whatever that word is. Just that heart connection to source, allowing that to actually be a connection that gets you more relaxed, more turned on, to your own heaven energy inside. Take a deep breath. <sighs> oh, nice work, everyone. So there's a lot of happiness and joy um, underneath the sadness. And um, the disconnection can help us feel despair. Um, the wanting what's next without fully receiving it can help us feel despair. I saw that from Matt Khan today and I loved it. And so let's just let any of that despair just kind of be fully released from our system through the power of the equines. Oh. Any and all energy of despair, sadness that can be cleared at this time, we'd like to do that with grace, through ease. Mm, nice work, everyone. So Sweetness is standing here on the side, fully supporting us until we did that clearing. There's some movement in the horses now too. So just take a deep breath. We're gonna move into the sound healing here in a minute. What else do you have, buddy? So Sweetness is talking about creating connection with self through words of kindness so that we can hear kindness towards ourself more frequently. So that is what's coming in, is how do we create words of kindness to ourselves? So how do we hear? He's talking about hearing, hearing um, words of kindness from ourselves to ourselves. So as we play the music, as I, as I play the sound, I say we, because I feel like I don't play the sound, the sound plays itself. Um, as we do that, well, if you could um, allow yourself to receive the sound as, a, as an act of kindness to yourself and also as a way to connect to the inner lover is what's coming in, the inner, um, the part of you that is your intuition, that is source, that is your true nature, that is so loving to yourself. So my, my dream and wish for everyone is that they are fully in touch with their intuition because for me, that's my best friend. And um, that's the kindest voice I've ever heard in my life, right? So um, that's the voice I would love for us all to grow through connection tonight. So, <laughs> Sweetness is like, yeah, so let's do this. Let's first, let's clear out any and all negative self-talk. 
the birds are actually singing um, in many ways here as well on visiting. Um, saw one pop in for us. So their song, as you see birds this week, um, allow them to be, because you may not see donkeys this week, but as you see birds this week, allow their song to be a reminder for you to sing to yourself um, words of kindness to create more of that connection with yourself, with your higher self, with your intuition, with your, with your God energy, right? Your heaven energy. There's a beautiful little bird on the top of this pine. It's just so sweet. Um, she's flying overhead right now. Okay. So, so any, any and all negative self-talk that's been there in the past or any and all ways in which we beat ourselves up, which creates disconnection, we'd like to uncreate and destroy that. <sighs> nice work. So we're going to fill that open space um, with this beautiful sound. And I'm just going to, um, again, I haven't done this before. Part of why I love heaven on earth is I just flow with what happens and what, what I'm guided to do and see how it all goes. Um, all animals, just like all humans, respond to sound differently. So we will see some of them will like different things. So there's different pieces here. You can open your eyes for this if you want. This will be a few minutes, but there's a, a Tibetan um, bell that a friend gave me, and um, there's a drum that my mom gave me, and there's um, these two things are connected. Talk about connection. So, um, I actually got this in Mexico, and um, it's part of the White Horse Collective. For those of us that work with horses, we talk about the White Horse Collective. Um, oh, somebody wants to play. You want to play? Mm -hmm. That one? This one? Oh. So Midnight's here. <laughs> And saying hello. You want to try the drum roll? So I'm going to bring this a little bit closer to them. They're actually all uh, kind of moving around. They might all come in for their own um, energy. And um, there's also going to be some other sound coming because it looks like there's a um, farm, farm machine coming. <laughs> so we'll do what we can here. Phoenix, which one? You want to try this one?
All right, I'll see if I can get this music up a little bit more because I got a comment there. Hold on. Sounds a little low, I apologize. This should be better. Is asking for this one. Well, as you can see, they're all very interested and very excited. And they all have a favorite. This is Winter's favorite. He keeps pointing to it. So there's always been that possibility that one of the horses would take the table down, but it's never happened before. So interesting. I apologize. Thanks for your patience there. So part of that feels like it's because this frequency and the frequency of the technology is not the same. And there's a little bit like, how do we bring out, how do we take that out? Right, that piece of it is the technology. So this is just a balancing, right? Right now, the reality is that we are on technology. So they've all reset. I'm going to give you guys a second to receive from Winter since he's very much right here for all of you. So feel into Winter's energy. He's kind of sending it through the computer. See if you can feel into this huge draft. He wants to actually touch the drums, so part of what I'm doing is this. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. I could do that for a long time. Maybe we will do another one, just sound. Um, so, <laughs> If you can feel Winter's heart, it's getting beamed at all of you, same with his breath. <sighs> Good boy. All right, so curious to know how you guys are all feeling. Feel free to drop a comment in the chat if you'd like to. Um, we're going to move into the wisdom share just because time is quickly going by, but he's here breathing into this drum. And there's something neat about a drum. Drums can start to really activate that heart center. <laughs> and see if you can really, if you want, um, you can put one hand up as though it's the left hand, one hand up as though you're touching winter. And then another 
um, hands on your heart and breathe in. He's playing with the drum. He really likes it. So part of what I was getting as you guys were watching, I don't know if you saw the same, is that the horses actually wanted to, they want to play with the, this stuff themselves. Like they actually want to pick it up and do it themselves. Um, that's part of what's been happening. So Phoenix wanted to play with the drum herself and he wants to as well. Um, so that's been kind of fun to see. Um, so, all right, I'm going to do a quick, quick wisdom share and then we'll do the journal prompt. Um, just kind of keep my eyes on him because I, he really wants to pl like play with everything. And at the same time, I'm like, I don't want, I don't want any of it to get um he's he's a big guy so let's at least hold this and if he wants to touch it with his mouth he can so this is um this is just a reminder that music is is one of our our points of connection and um if your energy does start to feel stagnant or stuck that you can um, you know, I've been loving Spotify lately. You can put on anything nowadays. You can put on any type of, um, thanks buddy, mm -hmm. um, music, right? Uh, sound baths and clearings. Thanks, sweetheart. Boy. <sighs> so when the horse is yawn, if you feel like taking a big sigh or just allow yourself to do that. So he's still offering some of that heart energy. Trying to get us out of our heads. Boy. And as you can see, he's dropped also. So the sound can often get the horses to this place of feeling very relaxed. The energy that we create can also do that. So this is just a reminder, um, you know, if there's something you don't want to do in life, turn on some music that you love. You'll connect to doing it faster. That's been my experience, like doing dishes. I'm like, I'm just going to play some awesome music. Um, if you feel a little stuck, uh, turn on music that feels super warming and nourishing to you. Play music, make music, sing out loud. <laughs> See his soft eyes here. Um, there's just a, there's just this huge opportunity, as you saw, that as we started with the music, we got the most connection out of the horses today. Sweetness is in the back, also releasing and clearing some energy, but they all came over, right? And, you know, whether my mind makes up the story that the rattle sounds like a bag of carrots or apples being opened, or just that they were like, this is new and exciting. Um... You know, I think that's what we need right now is we need some energy of newness and novelty to kind of create connection to the moment at times, just because um, I know many of us are somewhat tired of being in the same space very much in this self-cocooning energy. So music can kind of shift that. I think that's why my cat brought it in earlier today. Um, luckily, I was listening in that moment and saying, yeah, I'll, I'll bring those to the ranch tonight. That's a great idea. So... Um, She doesn't have the computer over again. All right, so wisdom share side about connection. Let's see. Um, a lot of it was already through this energy of sound. How can we create connection through sound? Um, right now, he's itching his ears, and that's something that we. Oh boy. Yeah, gonna, oh, oh, that was big. Thank you. So as we saw, Sweetness was doing that earlier too. And so part of what, you know, the ears are very much in this upper chakra, right? They're like between this throat chakra and this third eye and crown chakra, right? So they're really like what we hear, what goes in can create, in my mind, disconnection or connection. 
And so I wanted to bring the sound. I wanted to kind of, sh you know, get the nervous system a little bit rocked so you can start to think about um, how can you incorporate sound into your life more. And what is it, what are the sounds we need to hear, you know, on a daily basis? So like words of affirmation is a really big love language. And um, how can we share with others kind words and thoughts, support, um, you know, what's fun this week is I heard a song, so the Rachel Platten song, Stand By You, is actually a song that I feel like if I could sing one song to all my clients, it would be that song. And it says so brilliantly in it, even if we can't find heaven, I'll walk through hell with you. And that's the thing. I mean, I believe that we can all find heaven. That's why I'm doing heaven on earth. Because I know that the horses are already living in that heaven space and they can easily help us get there. Um, all the animals really are. But <laughs> it's funny. It's a lot of clearing. Thank you. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes we do have to walk through some energy of the hell energy. That's the self cocooning, right? We're not that the caterpillar is in hell, the caterpillar is an awesome creature. Um, but when it's in the cocoon, it really doesn't know what's happening. There's a lot of unknown. We've been in that space now for a bit. We have more to go, most likely. So he's now working on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So again, that left hand, guys, do you see that? So we now have both Sweetness and Winter who've done some clearing on the left hand with me tonight. So whatever that is for you, the way I hold that, thank you. Boy. So see if you can even, if you were to picture right now a horse touching your left hand, picture a horse's nose to your left hand, see if you can feel where in your body that touches. Ah, so he's pulling off energy also now from this, which is my EMF protector because I spent a lot of time on online on the computer um so <laughs> and now the spine oh we're getting full clearings tonight Woo! all right space you're allowed to clear me but you can't push me over thank you they will always often demonstrate boundaries when someone on the call needs to see that <laughs> so i'm fine with him doing some energy work and he's a big guy his head is the size of my face or excuse me his face is the size of probably weighs what I weigh close to it. So I have to ask him to support and also get to that point where if I feel like I'm gonna get pushed over, then I have to create a little bit more space. So he's holding that now. One of the horses blew out on that. So for those of you that need to see boundaries, um, we could do a whole wisdom share on how boundaries and connection are related, but we've already done a heaven on earth uh, on boundaries. So happy to, sh you know, for you guys to, to watch that. But ultimately where we're at right now is connection, being, um, ideally something that feels good. So I've been thinking briefly today about connection and how, what the ego would share about connection versus what like the heart or the soul would share about connection or the higher self. And the ego will share when you're still here. He's, his head's right here for those that you want to see it. Yeah, he's still right with us. There's still plenty of connection. Um, but winter has taught me a lot about boundaries. And so he will often be like, how are you doing? Where are we at with that? Another picked up. So thanks for your patience and some of the winds coming through. Let's take a moment and just pause and regroup. Let me give you guys the sunset for a second here. You can see it. It's a little bit hard to see. This is actually standing right in front of the sunset. Okay, the wind is coming through. There's a piece of the change around all of this. Salita's so confirming that as a yes. So let's take a moment and just think for a second about what connection means. You might have 
before I kind of go into like this, this differential I've been thinking about today, let's just see how it means to you. So there was a clearing around um, some different pieces and often that's what the horses will do is they'll target different spots intentionally. Um, so this, I took the EMF off, but clearly there was some energy on that. Um, the wind passed, which is great. So part of what they're seeing is, is to pause to create some more connection. It's hard for us to stay connected when someone's talking a lot, right? Um, it requires us to really stay focused, but when we pause and we breathe, we turn the ears off from hearing something and we get really quiet, that's actually when the higher connection comes in, the connection to spirit, to source. So Winter, this is neat, he's watching the, sun right, the sunset right now. I've never seen him do that. You can see him kind of aligned with that. That's pretty neat. He's pointing towards the sunset and the light is literally coming down through him. So he's talking about anchoring in the light and the source energy. So he drew my attention there for us to kind of see that. Um, so, the piece that was coming into shares, there's this way that the ego likes to form connection, which I think is about what are the things that might, you know, I want to be in this relationship with this person because X, Y, or Z is going to happen, right? They're going to, it's so funny how the chair, the chair I'm on is literally making noise. I've never had that happen before. So weird. Um, uh, how it, it, it creates this like, well, I need this and this person provides it and I have to have that need net and we think it's outside of ourselves. And so that's the connection, right? Versus this kind of heart or soul energy around, this connection feels good to me. This connection feels mutually beneficial. Um, I remember once I was at the first ranch I ever worked at and I was scratching this horse and like had this huge smile on my face. And this guy who was leading a summer camp walked by and he said, now kids, this is what symbiosis is, right? And the kids were all like, oh. And he was talking to them about the mutual benefit, right? That me giving scratches to this horse and this horse loving it and made me also really happy that that fluid exchange of connection was there. Um, and I think that that's the thing that we need to kind of look at in all our relationships, especially now. I feel like quarantine, COVID, again, I'm calling it self-cocooning, is a time where we are re-looking at our relationships. What is working and what's not? Is it mutually beneficial? Does it feel like symbiosis? Does it feel like connection, symbiotic relationship? Um, and if not, like there is potentially some sadness to letting go of things, but to know that um, that it's okay, right? To be, to know that um, like before, it was okay for me to draw that boundary with Winter because I literally felt like he was gonna push me over or even with Phoenix knocking the table over. That's like, they, they do not need to do that, right? And I had to say, that's not acceptable in my space. You can be here, I want you here. And 
don't knock me over by, you know, by your presence, right? And, um, and so <laughs> there's an opportunity for us to get in that moment focused on like, what's okay with us? You're going to see, you saw me say, say yes to winter nine out of 10 times before, right? And there was only one time when I'm like, no. And that's just that clarity point of, and he still stayed in that connected space because he was asking, he goes, yes, we have rapport, Kate. I can be in your space. There's connection. And we have respect. Are you willing to say no to me? Right? And that actually builds the respect muscle when we are willing to say no to something. Um, you know, and could I have said no to him even just slightly earlier so that it didn't get to the point where the big pushover? Yeah, probably. Um, but in that moment, I was okay, okay, until I wasn't okay. And then I was clear about, nope, you need to give me some more space. And knowing that space, um, that asking for that creates the respect, especially with horses. And we need both. We need respect and we need rapport um, because that's, the, that's how horses work. That they, hold, they need both, right? They need to feel connected and their form of connection is standing and doing nothing with each other. So that's actually why Winter asked me, could we just pause for a moment? Could we do nothing? Especially as the wind came in to say, you need to pause, <laughs> please stop. Um, and so as the sunset kind of comes in here, you can kind of see it. Um, uh, and we have just a couple minutes left. I wanted to kind of give you that, that journal prompt <laughs> and start to think about, you know, what does connection mean to you? Maybe you want to write down your own definition of it. Um, and then which areas of your life need strengthening in connection? So for instance, you might find that your friendships are great, but there's an opportunity to have a greater spiritual connection, right? Through meditation, through silence, through prayer, um, through dialoguing with your own intuition, your higher self. Maybe you need a greater connection with nature because Mother Earth has something for you or a greater connection with animals in your space or in the wild. Ultimately, I believe we all need a greater connection with ourselves and with spirit as as a way to open up the portal of heaven on earth so hopefully you got some of that tonight um but what does connection mean to you and what areas need strengthening and connection doesn't mean that you need to go take action on that right away it's just an opportunity to think about it and then maybe what's one thing you know the coach to me is always like what's one thing that you could take action on this week that would strengthen connection so for me, it would look like scheduling a longer meditation session with the horses at some point. Sweet. So what's one thing? And then the last piece, I normally only do two or three on the journal prompt. There's a, the fourth that's coming in is around sound. And even the wind right now is providing sound. I'm sure some of you can hear it ruffling. There is a storm that is here um, or will be here at any moment. So how does sound impact your life in a way that can create greater connection? Go ahead and take a couple minutes as you watch the light here and the horses. Go ahead and journal on that. 